Hey guys, this is Israel. And this is Naomi Davida. And welcome, welcome back to this little reviews we do um, on the popcorn collectible popcorn buckets different theaters give out. Um, if you've seen our machine, our review of the machine in our previous video, there should be a link somewhere up here. You'll know why we're out here so late because it's a bit of a late night showing for it. But tonight we are talking about the collectible Optimus Prime um, popcorn bucket yes. available at Cinemark theaters also known here in colorado as sentry uh we'll surprise asked the announcement said they would be available through the weekend through this week so i suggest you get to a cinemark or a sentry or whatever code near you try and pick one of these up because yes, they are actually pretty cool they are pretty cool and we actually got the last ones where and we are they just have put it out today, today. Yeah. Uh, but it's actually pretty cool the eyes actually there's actually a light inside because the eyes light up light really so if you can cover that light you'll see how it lights up right there well, let's see let's see if we can turn this off real quick uh actually hang on you know, that's kill lights real quick so as you can see yeah, so it lights up which is pretty cool for me at least yeah. i think that's pretty cool um i was already so but i the only complaint I have, I guess, is the way it opens. Yeah, the way it opens. That's what opens. You have to pull this up right here. So for the front, as you can see, it's a, it's a little difficult to open. Be um, sorry. Just get that. Well, either way, the top open right here opens up and reveals a bowl inside yeah. the head. Um, yeah. It's very difficult to open. Yeah. There we go. So that's how it opens. As you can see, the lights are like re literally right on the so bottom. So you can't use it because I'm not sure if those are waterproof. Yeah, I'm not sure how good the seal around those lights are. Um, if any sort of popcorn grease or butter or anything you put in there might interfere with those lights. Um, so Another thing, it's like very small. Like this is not even a fun size of popcorn. Yeah, like a medium might fit in there. Um, not even a medium. We hit a medium and it was Yeah, maybe dumped out. But again, you know, you don't want to risk those lights. Um, but all in all... For a collectible to sit on your shelf, it's for uh, Transformers Rise of the Beast, I should probably mention. Um, they are available now at Cinemarks. The good thing I do like about this is that it has replaceable batteries. Yes. So you can replace the batteries the if they die. Switch to the bottom, which, switch to the bottom yeah, which is perfect. Uh, which is what I like about it. Which is kind of cool. This is kind of something that would only go in your theater room. Or your collector's room or a room where you're gonna like watch tv entertainment yeah this is not something you'd want to use um very often or even at all yeah. again just because the way the light is if on you the bottom use it you might want to use it for something that doesn't get greasy yeah maybe like we like we said for the fast x one maybe some gummies or maybe something in a bag. Yeah. Or you make it, yeah, put like maybe saran wrap yeah, in there. Yeah, or, or stuff um, in there, but no popcorn. Or slow cooker yeah. line or something to line the inside to keep the inside from actually getting dirty or greasy or some any kind of liquid Unless in there. Unless you have a second one and you uh, don't care. Yeah. Or you just don't care at all. Unless you just don't care at all, you have multiple ones, then, you know, you might want to keep this more for a collectible than an actual bucket. But I do love it. Yeah. Um, it is metal plastic. I know some people are saying it's a collectible tin. It is not a tin. No, it's plastic. The it's just I'm guessing it's just called a tin, but no, it's plastic. It's not a tin, so don't get your hopes up I for am a tin. A little disappointed, not with this, but that Malaysia was it? Malaysia, yeah. Got Bumblebee. Bumblebee. Yeah. yeah, they have this one and Bumblebee, which yeah. would have been nice to have Bumblebee too, but it's cool to have Optimus. Yeah, I do love this one. Um, I. A lot of people are saying mm. it's too expensive, though. It is yeah, expensive. it is like twenty-five bucks with no popcorn and like thirty bucks with popcorn. Um, you know, it comes with medium popcorn, but with popcorn. But it, compared to like the fifty bucks for the rocket yeah. and the Fast X one, that's like a downright Which bargain. Which we're guys. looking forward to the ones from AMC. Oh yeah, AMC yeah. just announced well, did announce it, um, but we Italy. we found out yeah that. AMC will actually have a their own popcorn tin because I know multiple th multiple theaters got the Optimus head. However, AMC will be getting their own th their own themed popcorn bucket, which is going to be Optimus Prime with his trailer. So he is in semi truck form with the trailer, and, and the trailer holds the popcorn. Yeah, we believe the trailer holds the popcorn. We will try and bring that to you soon, as soon as they come out. Uh, we actually can't wait for that. We're glad we got these, but if you can go to your theater yeah, soon i suggest you do that and it's memorial day so this is why i think they're selling out yes it's Memorial day weekend so i suggest you probably get just the uh, cinemark century whatever it's called in your area 
as soon as possible and try and get one of these if you're into this, yeah, kind, if you're of into this kind of thing if you're not then you're just not going to care but it is very cool yeah. um i do not get why people people were like totally judging us <laughs> we got some serious judgment for yeah for mine yeah. but i mean it's cool i like it it's definitely going to be like put a shelf for me on display somewhere yeah. for um, us we love toys yeah like the grown-up adults who collect toys we collect figures so this is kind of awesome yeah. i guess people and who are judging us just think, don't collect stuff and they put the replaceable battery and the light upness means you could turn on and put it on display if you're like a watch party or something yeah or, which is really cool because you can turn if you do like the theater so turn the lights yeah. off it'll be cool or just a nerd yeah. party you can have it like or a halloween party you can just have it in the corner lit up replaceable battery so without to worry about ever dying on you you can just put new batteries in when they were judging me i was like you're just jealous <laughs> no kidding <laughs> but if you got one of these let us know what you think about it um and what do you think uh waste or total yeah is it, is it is it yeah exactly um would you change anything about it what did you wish was different about it let us know what do you think about this would you this? collect this would you not collect this are you sci-fi collector who goes to conventions that might like this? yeah or if you're a convention party light that up put in your hotel room that'll be a perfect party decoration right there <gasps> You know what would be fun to put a bag in it and put dry ice in it and just have it. Oh like, God, yeah, it yeah. And have the lights up, right eye up. Put the but yeah, jello shots in his head. If you really care about you know collecting yeah. and stuff, get or this. you're just a really huge Transformers yeah. fan. Uh, you're but want do that. not, do not put anything that's going to be juicy in here. Yeah, greasy, liquidy. Yeah. Because again, I do not know how good those seals on the bottom are, and Unless I don't want to test it. Two, or you, you just, just don't, don't care. care. Yeah. yeah, and I care a lot, so I don't. <laughs> I don't want to test how good that seal might be. It's kind of mad at the people over there, though, because the guy was touching my greasy hands. I'm like, dude. Yeah, I know. I gotta wipe this down because it's got. Yeah, it's got grease. The guy was all like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also cinemark why are you releasing this a week or the movies that come out to the ninth, and they're it's only gonna be for this week. Yeah. Like, why are you doing that? Yeah. Like, are you guys going to maybe release Bumblebee? If you're going to do that, then that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's cool. But uh, um, why are you doing that? Like, yeah. It's sold out today. That's kind of not fair that's to On one location that we know yeah. it's sold out today. So there might be others, but we are. I'm glad I got this. Which leads to a second... See, this is exactly why we go early. I don't care yeah. what movie you're seeing. Just go and watch a random ass Exactly. Movie. Which leads to a second point for another movie that's not even out yet. And that is these cups. <laughs> Um, so these are really like, cool. We're gonna do another video about them, but as far as I know, they are completely they're sold, sold out. They're sold out, yeah. Especially her, she's gone. All of them are gone. We actually, thing. we literally mm -hmm. bought the last two at the location here in Colorado, in Belmar and Lakewood. Literally bought the last two. The thing I um, find hilarious is, is that uh, my brother and I were fighting about getting these, and in the time it took us to debate whether we should get them or not. Yeah, yeah. there was like four Spider Gwens left. Two twenty ninety nines. By the time we decided we wanted one, literally last two left. But they are really cool. Yeah, I know. I love it. We both got a different so one. The, we actually both wanted Gwen. Yeah. But they were sold out. Well, my brother got one. He yeah, liked. the front is actually like rubber on there. So that's yeah, really, really cool. cool. I thought it was going to be cheap and lame. Yeah. Like those little plastic ones from Walmart. Yeah, no. Like the rubber is actually cool rubber in the it's front. Like, yeah, um, it's got the logo on the back. And the cool part is, let's take my straw out. Obviously, you might think, oh, the head pops up. So yeah, you just get no. that little drink. No, 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 no. You actually do yeah. manage to get quite a good amount of liquid in here. You can think you see the liquid in the feet. On this yeah. Thing. Can you see it? Can kind of, you, you can kind of see it switching, yeah. but not much. But the way it fills up, you, you're definitely, you're, you're not just getting the body like yeah. I assumed. Yeah, I know, like the um, cheap Walmart ones. Because yeah. I, I thought it was going to be but worth it. Let's back on it up. I honestly didn't think it was going to be worth it because like it's going to be like the Walmart ones yeah. or the weird ones, the Christmas ones with the... Yeah. The, that's what I yeah. thought it was going to be. But when I saw them just sitting there and I was touching, I was like, wait, nope. that's actually way cooler. Definitely worth Again, I don't believe, I don't, if I'm real correct, if I get my release dates right, this movie's not out yet. Yeah. Um, so that's another, that's another thing that's gone. Um, I know they did have some more... Um, you guys, as far as buckets yeah. still, so... Yeah, if you're here and you want to go to the Century 16 Belmar, I suggest you go check for the Optimus heads. But when we got it tonight, the guy was very kind of pissed and he was saying we got the last two. Yeah. So I don't know if that's true or not, or maybe it was just because they went over your stock today. But go and check that out. But these are definitely yeah, sold out. Yeah, it might have been the stock. We might have bought the last Optimus for the stock of the day. Yeah. Um, but I suggest if you're here in Colorado, get to Century 16 in Belmar. Or go to the Aurora. Or Century in Aurora. Try and get your hands on one of these buckets. And one of these, if you're a Spider-Man fan, if they're ready left. If you do it to Century 16 in the future and you guys find out there's buckets, let us know. Let other fans know. Yeah, yeah. 
but yeah, these but these are definitely gone. Yeah, let us actually let us know um, in the comments below. You know if there are Cinemarks in your area what state you're in, what Cinemark might have these, might have the bucket still, you know, maybe help out another fan who might be looking for these, you know, post in the comments below where a location might have them. Um, so, you know, maybe some kind of fellow fun. collectors can get their hands on some of these things. Yeah, yeah because, you know, kind of, you know, when D&D &D came out, we never got those dice and we were really heartbroken because nobody put those out. It would have been yeah, nice no. to help other, it would have been nice if other fans helped us. So if you can help other fans, that'd be great. Let them know, but they're really great if you can get your hands a hold of them and you're Spider. Yeah, if you're a Spider-Man fan, yeah. then definitely want to get your hands on some of these. So yeah. just let other fans know where these might be. Yeah, and then um, yeah, so you can get also a reusable straw and just put it in here to turn on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta... I actually, there's kind of one tiny little like first bed. world problem complaint I have is I do wish it had come with a straw. Yeah. Um, you know, either a straw that's blue and white plastic, or maybe a straw that's like blue and red or black and white or something. Yeah. Um, just so you're not wait, burning through straws every time you bring it to the theater with you. Yeah, but it's kind of cool because I'm making it a stitch one and just sticking it in. Yeah, but it is cool because now you can add any kind of straw you want. Yeah. Um, I just kind of wish it would have maybe included a cool one. Maybe made it interchangeable, but yeah. uh, but these are really worth it. I honestly thought they would be like the baby ones yeah. that you get that are cheap, but no, they're actually yeah, really no, they're pretty like you said, good thickness, um, good amount of liquid in them. Yeah. So yeah, kind of sad we didn't get more of them because I kind of wanted the whole collection because there's actually three there's of three them. of them. So there's uh, twenty ninety nine Spider Gwen and Miles Morales. Now Miles Morales Morales was completely sold out yeah. by the time we got to this location. Um, and I believe they were only announced like a week ago, so we yeah, went to the were. theater to see No, I think um, it was only three days ago. Three or four days ago. Maybe I don't know. practically a week. Yeah, I'm not sure if I... I don't think I saw them when, when we went to see Fast X. No, um, and then they had Fast X cups that looked exactly like this with an oh, X. Oh, yeah, it was like the X shape. Off. Yeah. Uh, they're just sold out. Those are going, unfortunately. If you have one of those, though, let us know what you think about those. If you have any of these, let us know what you think about this. Do you wish maybe they would have added a different character, a certain character? Um, or something along the likes. Just let us know what you think about these. The Optimus head. Um, and like I said, if there's... And if you do have a Fast S uh, X one, let us know if it lights up. Because somebody says it does. And I saw some pictures of somebody somebody carrying one in the theater today. But I would like to know. Yeah, I'd like to know if it lit up. Or if the pictures were silent and it just been like a fan yeah, Or maybe the mod. thing she was carrying. Maybe she did it herself. Who knows? Yeah, like a fan mod Ooh. or something. Just let us know if they light up, really. Uh, but all in all, let us know what you think about these. And hopefully you enjoy this little look at yes. some of the... Across the Spider-Verse and the Transformers merch that Cinemark has. And hopefully um, you can get your hands on one if you're fans. Yeah. Um, I suggest that you go and get your head if you want one. But anyway, let uh, just if you're here, go to the Aurora Century and get your head if you want. And even go to the Belmar, see if they still have yeah. them. But I suggest going to Aurora because there's only two theaters here, I think. I here. believe there's only two centers yeah. in Colorado. Or yeah. I think there's one in Fort Collins too, but... If you want those, I suggest you should go and try and get them yeah. soon. Yeah, get your head, get your cup. Yeah. Like I said, they still had some into the sp across the Spider-Verse buckets, but they were like a tin bucket and a plastic bucket. So I know they definitely had those left. I'm not sure how much they have left. But again, please let us know where you are. If you, they aren't stuck in your, look, in your area, maybe just make a list in the comments below so people can come, so collectors can find them and try and get their hands on something cool like this. Yes. So yeah, just let us know if you're here in Colorado, I suggest going to yeah. Aurora. Uh, but be quick because it is Memorial Day yes. and it's probably going to sell out this weekend. Exactly. So if you got one, let us know what you think about this or these in the comments below and hopefully enjoy this little look at the merch and we'll see you next time. Yes, and hopefully it made it worth it and you want some. So go find them. Yeah. Enjoy.